Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be going over my everyday men's makeup routine. I have already applied my moisturizer and SPF and I'm just setting my under eye area and nose anywhere where I get shiny during the day. I'm not wearing foundation today, I usually don't on a daily basis so I'm just showing you guys my routine. That was a lot of powder, oh my god. Um, but to set I'm using Cody Airspun Translucent and again I'm just basically setting my T-zone and then after that sits for a minute, I'm just going to brush that all over my face to set the rest of my face for powder. Bust it out an oldie but a goodie. I'm taking NARS Laguna and I'm just hitting the perimeters of my face. And I'm very lightly bronzing the skin. I'm not doing like heavy, heavy bronzing or contouring or anything like that today. Um, but I'm just running that all over my jawline, down the neck, pretty much just anywhere because I was looking a little pale. And since we're not wearing foundation, there's no base. And now I'm going to blush up my cheeks using, in, I think this is Soft Spoken from NYX, it's one of their new HD blushes. And I'm using a Morphe powder brush. And as you can see I'm using a very light hand with that before I contour with the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Now this did break but I was able to press it back in because I kept some of the broken pieces. Um, so I'm now going to be using this again more in my videos. And I'm just taking that on a giant ass Morphe contouring brush and very lightly hitting the cheekbones. And that's pretty much it for contouring. We're pretty much done with that. Um, now, shameless product placement. This is my highlighter that I created for my High Impact Cosmetics line. Look at how fucking bright that is. It is just crazy. I am so proud of these. They are beautiful. Every single one is formulated differently based on the customer's color preference. Of course, you guys know I love rose gold, so this one is staying in my collection. This will be my personal everyday highlighter, and you'll be seeing me use it all the time. And I will link my Etsy shop down below so you guys can place an order for yours. And do you see how intense that is? I literally only needed a short swipe. I'm not applying much of this. It is extremely, extremely highly pigmented, so that's all I'm applying. Very quick. Highlighting really never has been any easier since I started using these powders. They are just incredible, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. Now I'm going to contour my nose, and we are totally going to speed through this because it's you've seen it so many times. So we're contouring using the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, and I'm just going to breeze through that. This is a really quick tutorial, guys. There's not too many products, not too many steps. The whole thing, I think, in total without the fast forward throughs, I think this was a 10 or 15 minute makeup routine. It's super easy, super short, and anyone can do it. And now for thy brows, we are going to fill them in using the Becca Ombre Nudes palette in the darkest shade. And then I'm just filling that in with a flat definer brush. This is from Sigma. And yeah, we're just gonna fill that bitch in and then we're gonna brush it out with a spoolie. Brows are not super interesting, especially mine because they're very full, there's not really many techniques, it's just filling in. Um, I can do brow tutorial like an in-depth one if you guys want, but it's really, really not that interesting. If you want to see a full one, Desi Perkins has an amazing brow tutorial you can check out. Now I'm going to curl my lashes using, of course, the Shu Uramura S Curler. I will link this down below as well. It is by far the best lash curler of life. And I am definitely going to do a separate review on it and video on it soon because this has been getting a lot of hype recently. I've noticed in my videos and people have questions on it. So I'm going to answer them. But anyway, just curl in both lashes. As you can see, I can do it in sections, which is the amazing part about this curler. And it's just amazing. Now to pump up my freshly curled lashes, we're going to take the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and just lightly, I mean, lightly. We're going to we're going to pretty liberally coat them, but doing very thin coats and not letting it in um, not letting it dry in between so that we avoid clumping. And of course, I get some on my eye because I mean, it wouldn't be a makeup day without it. 
Now to line my waterline, I'm going to take the Steel All Day Liquid Liner. This is a waterproof felt tip liquid liner, and it is my favorite. The only one I think I prefer is the Nano Liner from Absolute New York, but it's not as waterproof and it's much smaller, so if you're doing like larger area work, it's not, it takes longer, but I do like the fine tip on that one. And then I'm taking the the second to last darkest color in the Ombre Nudes palette and just brushing that under my lower waterline. Um, this is just to smoke everything out because I don't like applying lower mascara on a daily basis. And then I'm going to brush out my lashes after they have fully dried. Do not do this before while they're wet. And then I'm going to spritz my face with MAC Fix Plus to get rid of some of the powdery finish. And then set with the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Setting Spray. Yes, I got it right! Um, so here is the before and then the after. As you can see, there's not a huge difference. My skin is just a little more even, more bronze, and this is just a really easy look. Guys, this concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this little mini tutorial. It is going to be one of the last ones for Men's Makeup May, but I do have another collab coming soon, so I'll let you know when that comes up. And until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Bye! -ya.